Hi, I'm Dorothy Gable, and this is the Biblical Dementia Caregiving Channel. Today I will be talking about considering and extending the offer to become the primary caregiver for your loved one with dementia. These videos are informational only and no substitute for medical care. If you or your loved one are having cognitive issues, see a doctor. If you found this video helpful, click the like and don't forget to subscribe to not miss out on more videos on Biblical Dementia Caregiving. To consider being the primary caregiver for a loved one with dementia can be scary. Who, me? I'm not qualified. I don't know enough. I have a hard time applying Band-Aids. There are many reasons why we might not feel up to the task, but if the Lord has laid your loved one's situation on your heart and you are in a position to help, this might be the Lord motivating you to step up. For if this is of God, you won't be doing it alone. 1 Corinthians 1, 27 and 29 reminds us, But God chose what is foolish in the world to shame the wise. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong, so that no human being might boast in the presence of God. If he calls, he will enable. And remember, we're not necessarily being called to do nursing or would have to be knowledgeable in medicine. I considered myself an executive manager seeking the best resources, treatments, and solutions for my mother at the time. We know them and their history. We are aware of their situation. It will be up to us to sort through solutions, medical care teams, medications, and supplements. But we'll call on experts, others who are knowledgeable in those areas, to determine the best recipe for success. And the goal? Helping our loved one live well with dementia includes finding unique, out-of-the-box solutions to help your loved one get through their day. Prayerfully consider your time and capabilities along with your loved one's needs and their acceptance of your help. Begin there and pray for God's wisdom. When my father died unexpectedly and we realized mom could not live on her own, I knew I was the only one whose children had their own families, who had the time and lived in a community that would work for my mother. It was a step-by-step -step process, sifting through the issues, ensuring our household could handle this task. Mom was willing to move from Upper New York State to Wisconsin and the Lord would provide. For I considered this opportunity to be one of the good works that God had planned long ago for me to do. Understanding that while dementia might change how a person acts does not mean they are gone or lost. Dementia does not have to separate spouses. The Lord will help you cope and show you the way to move forward. I'll read from my book, Dementia Caregiving from a Biblical Perspective. The husband of a friend of mine developed Lewy body dementia. She said, I know that God has a reason for this, and it doesn't matter that I don't understand why he has allowed this. But it does matter that I depend on him to show me how to proceed on this journey. I find myself amazed at how I respond most of the time to my husband's mistakes or bathroom messes. He thinks he is doing things right and he is not. It indeed is mentally draining, but that's okay. I only hope and pray that I can help him finish well. It is also amazing to me how God has prepared me to be his helper at this time. For our commitment to our loved one provides the opportunity to help them through one of the most difficult challenges of their life. As Christ died for us and gave himself for us, would we turn away from a loved one in their time of need? The challenge of caring for a parent takes on another dimension. Honoring their position as parent in the midst of rendering care and making decisions on their behalf. There were times I had to pray about the best way to handle a situation, but my mother's needs usually pointed to the solution. I looked to find ways that honored her as my mother while shouldering the responsibility. Extending the offer might be a challenge. If we feel led to make the offer, but our loved one selects someone else, we can endeavor to support them. If you are not the primary caregiver, be willing to lend support for this task is larger than any one person they will need your help. I was blessed with the help my husband and sisters provided. One last note. As we discuss the possibility of becoming the main caregiver, we must be careful with our promises. It's hard to imagine our loved one might one day be completely incapacitated or develop behaviors make it impossible for us to safely care for them at home. We must not promise that they will never have to live in a residential facility, for their behaviors might require this for their safety as well as ours. 
We can promise that we will not abandon them, but will stay by their side through their dementia journey. Stay tuned for more videos on caregiving fundamentals. Or check out my book, Dementia Caregiving from a Biblical Perspective, Your Guide for the Journey. Available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, ChristianBook.com, and Westbell Press. Thanks for watching. Made possible thanks to my videographer and producer, my husband, Ralph Gable, author of Electronics for the Inquisitive Experimenter.